Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. How are you guys? My name is Raja Farah. Thank you for tuning into my vlog. And for your information, this is my very first pregnancy vlog. <laughs> it is in fact the first vlog and uh, I decided to do this because I just want to share with you guys my journey for, for this second pregnancy because I am facing um, a few numbers of uh, health conditions which I hope this can inspire you guys can give you guys an idea to especially an expecting mom out there or if you have facing um, or experience the same conditions like me you can also share uh, with all of the subscribers the rest of subscribers with me as well so just leave your comment below and don't forget to click subscribe uh, okay to start it with uh, now currently I am 36 weeks pregnant almost term or full term they call it term okay uh, which is actually nine months already but um, this is started from uh, when I was five months pregnant for this pregnancy um, which is I'm facing a situation of um, having a gallstones in my gallbladder this is actually very common very 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 common especially to, can, to look at what we are eating uh, for us Malaysian so just like me I'm also uh, I am the food lover I love to eat oily food fried foods and all those with um, coconut milk or santan I really love that uh, you know so that may be trigger the gallstone to develop uh, in my gallbladder so don't don't get it confused you may google it actually it's actually gallstone uh, g-a-l-l stone gallstone this is not the same stone in your kidney this is the one in your gallbladder okay so um, it started with I had a very severe stomach pain abdominal pain um, which is actually right under your chest the upper upper side of your abdominal it's very painful which I never had it before I never experienced it before and what happened is actually um, I thought it's just a heartburn because I do have a heartburn during this pregnancy and also uh, the indigestion problem uh, even though if I'm not pregnant, I do have that indigestion problem which is I digest my food very late um, it took longer hours to, di to digest I can say so yeah, um, what happened is that I had that pain in my ab abdominal part uh, upper, low, uh, uh, sorry, upper part of my abdominal it's very painful I just can't do anything I can't even talk what I can do is just you know bear with it and and keep pressing my abdominal, my stomach here. So um, I just don't know what to expect. So I WhatsApp my gynae, doctor I know from Sanwe Medical Center. So she's very attentive. She is very good. <laughs> she really entertained me. She attend me all all the time I whenever I ask her anything so yeah uh, she said that try to drink some milk maybe it's just a heartburn try it first so okay I try it on it works which is when I drink the uh, milk it's like a, um, it's not a warm milk it's a cold milk actually, milk actually. yeah cold milk just a full cream milk from the box where we buy from the hypermarket not to say not the um, normal uh, pregnancy uh, milk okay so what happened is that actually it works the pain goes away but right after that I vomit okay I throw out it's like a lot actually a lot but I feel much better after I throw it out so I thought it's fine so the rest of the day is fine and everything is fine but the next day the pain comes in again right after I took my meal uh, I think my lunch I can't remember if I'm not mistaken so I took my lunch and the pain come back so I tried to drink milk but this time doesn't work 
I just bear with it until I'm feeling like throwing it out again so I throw out again and it does feel a little bit better okay but the pain is like you know still there it doesn't uh, really go away not like 100% so what I did um, I just asked my mother-in-law thank God shukur alhamdulillah I have my mother-in-law with me that time because I can't really, I, I can't really, I really can't do anything. I can't drive, I can barely do anything. So I just asked her to drive me to the clinic, okay. And what happened is that, um, okay, uh, we went to the clinic and the doctor said, you may be having a gastric, which is actually logic because of the pain and everything from the symptom and everything so she said yeah maybe you're having a gastric so she prescribed me a gas gastric uh, medication that is suitable for a pregnant mother so uh, when i came back uh, i took that medicine that gastric one and then um, i decided to eat because i started to be hungry the pain is still there but it's kind of uh, bearable it's very mild not as strong as I had it a day before so I just take something to eat which is that time I asked my mate to do for me a porridge a chicken porridge so I just took one spoonful and the pain is starting I mean the pain is is, is there it's, it's it come back you know so uh, I really really don't know why I just I just and this time I really can't bear with it anymore I don't feel like vomiting I don't know but I it's just so painful it's really painful okay and I, like I said I can barely talk or anything so I just call my husband I uh, before that I actually text my gynae once again and she said you better come to the uh, uh, emergency unit and refer to the gastrology okay because it has got to do with the stomach the abdominal so okay, I just uh, call my husband, ask me to, ask him to bring me to the emergency unit in Sony Medical Center. So they took my blood, they drip me for about two hours um, until the result come out, and they also take my urine as well, my sample, uh, my urine sample, and um, the result from the blood shows that I'm having that gallstone. Okay, so which I really didn't expect that at all and I asked him, I asked the uh, medical assistant of a second or the uh, doctor in charge at the emergency unit so I just asked him, how does that happen? He said it might be from the diet of course uh, it, it is purely from the diet, not might be, it, it is purely from the diet from whatever you are eating and because of your pregnancy hormone it produces uh, more cholesterol kind of thing so that is why um, the stone can be developed so they did an ultrasound to me they saw of the one inches each of the stone but there's a lot actually in that uh, gall bladder okay they have confirmed that so they admit me because they need to continue me on an antibiotics and everything but the pain is still there so I just asked for any painkiller if I can have because as you all know the uh, painkillers or any medications you can't just simply take anything uh, during pregnancy so definitely I uh, they have to just they have to refer to my gynae and ask for their for, for her permission to give me anything Luckily, Alhamdulillah, thank God, shukur Allah again because uh, there is a suitable uh, painkillers uh, that, that they can give me. They give me through the IV because they, they drip, right? So, but still, I think it's the most um, low dosage. I think the lowest dosage possibly because of why I could not feel anything at all. For about at least two three hours i think then only the pain goes away so i, I admit during that night for at least four days and i went through an uh they call it what mri scan yeah the one that you are entering into into the tunnel so i did that one okay it's very scary though <laughs> i mean 
it's it's okay, it's fine. It's not that like uh, you can't breathe or anything, but it's just not so comfortable. And it took me about half an hour at least, or maybe forty minutes, to settle the whole procedure with all the sounds and everything, the thick and and I'm uh, sorry, the loud sound and everything. So yeah, it really makes you uncomfortable. But okay lah, it's terrible. I just I just. Uh, be strong, try to tell myself to be positive and be strong. Uh, we just want to find out uh, what are the problems uh, because I am having that very bad pain. But surprisingly, once after I admit, once after I took the antibiotics, panadols, and drips and everything, uh, surprisingly, the pain doesn't come back at all. <laughs> it's like I can just eat anything I can eat. I can do whatever I want to do. The pain doesn't come back at all. To compare with before I went to the emergency unit, um, basically there's just like uh, barely anything I can eat because whatever I eat, I will feel the pain. Even though just a little bit of uh, meal or food, I will feel the pain. So yeah, so it's totally different. Okay, once I got admitted. And then uh, the result came out from the MRI scan. The result is saying that okay, Alhamdulillah, um, the stone is no longer there. They are my gastrology uh, expecting, suspecting as well, <laughs> um, that maybe the uh, gallstone is actually went out. One of the one of the stone went out from the gallbladder and stuck at the bile duct. Okay, so or I can say as the uh, saluran to the um, usus besar I can say all right but the sign is there which is um, that we can tell actually uh, there is some left behind of the uh, sign of the uh, duck is actually a little bit swollen to show that actually the stone has went through but it has flushed out it may be due to the uh, uh, drips that I took non-stop for that whole three days before that uh, uh, MRI. Yeah, so Alhamdulillah, everything is went well. So basically, I did ask my gastrology um, what to do, what kind of treatment and everything. She said there is not much treatment that we can do to you because you are pregnant. And... Um, even uh, any kind of procedure so uh, she advised me to the, to do to do the um, uh, they call it uh, operation to remove your gallbladder but that can only be done after I gave birth after my appointment uh, the, after everything is settled uh, then only we can do the procedure they can do it during the pregnancy, but if only the pain is so severe or the stone is too big or whatever, uh, a much more uh, worse or critical conditions than what I'm having, what I'm facing. So luckily, Alhamdulillah, I am not facing all that. Uh, it is still bearable, it is still okay, it is still under control. So I've been praying and doa so that I don't have to go through the uh, operation or procedure to remove my gallbladder during this pregnancy. I really want to wait this pregnancy to, you know, for safety to deliver it and everything. Okay, so yeah, that is when I was five months pregnant. Now that I am 36 weeks, right, or nine months pregnant, when I was seven months pregnant, I am facing another <laughs> health condition which is actually also very common they call it gestational diabetes okay naughty mommy mama is very naughty love to eat sweets I'm I don't know why I'm craving for sweets I just I just love to eat anything sweet I love cakes I love durians I love kueh mue I love ice creams so oh, um, this is totally different to compare with my first pregnancy with Imran, my first son Imran. I really love spicy foods. I don't even bother to have anything sweet at all. But this pregnancy, uh, totally the opposite. I really can't take any any spicy food. I will feel the heartburn, and I just don't like it at all. I don't don't like the taste at all. But instead, 
I love something sweet. Mm. So, um, as you all know, this gestational diabetes is actually a health condition that you are facing, that you are having only during the pregnancy. That is the reason why they call it gestational, one thing. And um, during your pregnancy, you are basically low on insulin. Your hormone is actually quite kind of haywire. <laughs> so you produce a lower amount of insulin. So that's why the, the your body's insulin cannot process all the sugar foods, sugary food, sweets or whatever food that you take. So um, I've been bare with it from the seven months pregnant. I've been bare with it for not taking any kind of treatments. I just, um, you know, uh, keep on checking my glucose blood test, uh, which, you know, we just pop, <laughs> we just choo choo over here to get a drop of, a single drop of your blood and into the machine. And uh, just take record and take note on the readings. So my gynae asked me to maintain my reading for between four to six, but I definitely fail to do that. I mean, not that I don't control my my meal or my my diet, my food or whatever. Even though if I control, the sugar is still very high. Not to say that very very high until you reach the number of ten or anything. The the index is. What the uh, M M per liter? Or I, I'm not so sure about that. How 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 to actually <laughs> even say that? But the number should be between four to six. But what I always get is seven, eight, nearly nine. Ah, that scary me a lot. Okay, so yeah, um, I did control my diet with a regular glucose blood test intake. Because my glucose or my sugar level kind of became hair wire, I can say. I don't know, they're also pening or whatever. Because, it, like, for an example, today I ate um, sandwich tuna with a plain water. My sugar is about 4.7. So, which is very nice, very beautiful. It's, it's really nice because I have to maintain between 4 to 6, remember? So, um, the next day, I took the same amount of sandwich tuna, tuna sandwich, and the same amount of plain water. But my sugar is actually more than 6. So, I said, what should I do now? I thought of eating this um, tuna sandwich. It's okay. So, I thought of just remain. It's okay for the rest of my pregnancy if I have to take only this you know um, I don't mind okay I'm okay with that you know I'm willing to control my diet um, but of course I don't feel happy because I mean not to say not to feel happy uh, I'm that I'm not happy actually because I'm very hungry of course because we are pregnant right uh, I lost appetite only my only during my first three months of pregnancy during that morning sickness or whatever <laughs> but right after that um, from the fourth month onwards starting to get better and better and better so if you really if I really can only eat two pieces of two slices of uh, tuna sandwich and a plain water it's definitely not enough okay definitely not enough you'll feel so hungry definitely all right so um, I asked my doctor I consult with my doctor with my gynae so she said that well I think Farah it's better that you just start a treatment so here we go um, thinking about that I was now into this treatment I know you all know what is what is this exactly so this is actually <laughs> um, an insulin okay insulin so yeah um, let me tell you uh, actually for a diabetes treatment uh, for the gest this gestational diabetes 
um, actually you kind of um, you have two different options you can take either the pills but the result will not be so good or you can take the insulin so I took it took me about one whole week to keep on you know thinking and deciding what to take whether should I go for the insulin or should I go for the pill um, now I mean just like today just now we went for a weekly checkup with my gynae so I just said to him to her that okay doctor I have decided to take insulin why why I decided to take insulin of course I don't like that every time I have to eat I have to you know keep on poke into myself we have to do it at the thigh area uh, we can do it at the at the abdominal but now that I am full term almost full, full term of pregnancy so the skin is so stretched it's kind of hard for you to do it over there so you can just do it on your thigh I have to do it my, by myself so like today before I had my lunch I took it all right now let me just tell you there is a number over there if you can see right so this number is something that you can adjust okay and I have to take at 8 I'm not sure what is the index 8 ml maybe <laughs> I don't know so yeah you have to take it like for myself I have to take from 8 and then if let's say if let's say uh, two hours after my meal I take the blood test the glucose blood test and the number is still not nice not so chantik which is not between uh, 4 to 6 I have to increase the dose up to 12 which is you just add on another 2 ml kind of thing yeah ml if I'm mistaken that's what from what I heard so um, the insulin or the medication is over here it's clear in what clear water clear color sorry clear color so you just put in or um, you know uh, install the um, or I can say as you put the uh, needle surprisingly the needle is just actually very short and you barely feel anything when you do it I really 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 thought that I'm not gonna like it who loves needle no right I don't love needle same goes so yeah I thought it's gonna be painful it's gonna be uh, you know a kind of a situation like every single meal before your breakfast when the food is in front of you this is what prescribed by my doctor okay I don't know about the rest of you guys maybe you had a, a situation of two hours before meal or ten minutes before meals I don't know about that but as for my condition my uh, gynae prescribed me to do it to take the insulin right before right before my meal so if let's say you're eating outside the meal is already in front of you then only you take it but because of <laughs> we can't do it <laughs> in the public right because because we have to do it I have to do it at the Thai the Thai area my leg area so I have to go to the toilet or maybe in the car like this like today before my lunch I do it in my car okay so yeah uh, the needle is actually very short it's not so long it's not painful you just um, uh, use the alcohol swap you just swap over there uh, to you know to some sort of like sanitize or, or sterilize sanitize that area so that there is no bacteria or, or just to also avoid any infection and then just um poke it in <laughs> chicho like you know like chicho and you has the but in that's all that's all it's like Wow, surprising. <coughs> surprisingly, it's actually very easy and not so painful. I mean, you can barely feel anything. So, Alhamdulillah, um, I can say as Allah is my journey. And uh, I really hope that this is going to be a gestational diabetes. Um, I'm not going to be, uh, a, you know, a diabetes after my pregnancy because I do have the tendency it runs in my genes uh, from my mom's side so I just hope I'm going to be okay um, 
after my pregnancy sorry i am just looking at my my icon um so yeah that's all i just I, that's all i want to share with you guys oh yeah one more thing um since that i have started with the diabetes uh treatment i have to give birth by 38 weeks that's the longest unless the baby wants to come out earlier but yeah that's the longest which is i have to go through an induction procedure the gynae will induce me induce and uh, i have to give birth by 38 weeks i can't wait until 40 weeks or until later than that or until the baby is ready to come out by his own or if he is ready to come out um, before 38 weeks okay that will be fine because now I'm 36 weeks there is a possibility that baby can come out from now until the due date okay so but now that I can't wait until my due date that is the condition I have to give birth by 38 weeks which is two weeks more two, two more two yes two more weeks from now so yeah inshallah uh, dua for me all the best wishes for me please <laughs> i need all the motivational words <laughs> supports from you guys and i really hope that um everything will, will go smooth i will share with you guys my uh, uh my result after i took the uh, insulin and after my meal it has to be two hours after meal so right after this i'm going to check to test uh, I will share with you guys what I ate and why I eat that and what is the result so if you guys have any situation like me please 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 feel free to share with me and if you have anything to ask me you are not clear or anything just anything as long as I mean I will try my very best to answer everything every single question uh, as for the um, updates, uh, don't wait over here because I'm not going to, to update through a blog. Blog is just for a detailed stories. But for short, short updates, latest updates, I'm going to update in my Instagram. So you may also follow me at Raja Farah Raziz. Okay, and I will leave the link below. So yeah, that's all for now. And uh, now I'm counting days. Today is. Um, 27? Is it 27 today? Let me see. Oh no, today is 26. Today is only 26 of the month. Um, so, 26 March. So, I am uh, planning to go for induce or induction on the 8th of April. Two more weeks from now. Wish me luck. And I hope you guys enjoy. You, you guys had all the informations and knowledge that you want to know from this vlog. If I do have anything else I want to share, a short, simple update, I will share through my Instagram. So, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.